Hi, I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. If you're in the market for a complete home remodel, come see us. If you just want floors, maybe a new construction build, cabinets refurbished, or even a whole bathroom remodel, come see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, 371 Georgia Highway 338, or give us a call, 478-676-2662. Look forward to doing business with you. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wynn Nelson Company. We're a full-service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road or give us a call at 478-272-3585 at Dublin Wynn Nelson. Welcome everybody, I'm glad to be here today at Teen Challenge Thrift Store on Central Drive in East Dublin and uh, Mike, you and I were talking last week mm -hmm. and um, the uh, donations are down for some reason and we don't know if it's this time of the year, if you forgot about them over here, but uh, I want to come by and talk to you and just make sure if everyone had forgot about you, we want to remind them again. Right, but, that'd uh, be awesome. Tell us, our viewers, just a little bit about the thrift store and where the proceeds go and how important it is. Sure. I mean, and, you know, everybody, I don't know if everybody's aware of the history of the program. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Wilkerson started it many, many years ago, started in New York, and uh, it's developed into an international organization. Um, and it helps a lot of people, helps a lot of students, men, teenagers, women. Uh, it helps people with their struggling addictions and and uh, the thrift store is part of the Tea Challenge Center on 441 in Dublin. That's where our students are. We house about 70, 70 men there uh, and they they follow a, a rigorous program, a structured program that's very helpful to them, helps them to kind of get their lives back in order and uh, you know restore relationships with their families and uh, you know, and, and, and bring God into their lives. And uh, it's a Christian discipleship uh, and it's very important. And uh, the thrift store, um, the profits that we bring in here at the store, uh, the proceeds go to our center and the center will take those proceeds and, and they will um, put them where they, where they deem uh, necessary to, uh, to fund, uh, it, you know, we, it's very expensive, actually. It probably costs between twenty and thirty thousand dollars, I believe, uh, a month uh, to how maybe a year. Actually, it could be to house mm -hmm. the students and give them the classroom work that they do and feed them. And um, uh, there's just a lot of great things that go on there, and it's very helpful to the community. And uh, our proceeds go to that center so that they can use the funds that they need. Um, to take care of all those things. Now, not only does the proceeds go to our program, our, our particular program in Dublin, Georgia, but they also are used to help other centers that might not be as financially uh, stable as we are, ones that are maybe struggling a little more than we are. Um, but um, like I said, like uh, Mr. Deal was saying, um, you know, it seems to be a slow time right now. Um, right after Christmas, we do we get a lot of donations, we get a lot of Christmas stuff and, and a lot of clothes and hard good items and things that we can really use to sell. And uh, the beauty of the program is, it, and the store, is it's not just about us making money so that we can help other students. Um, we're here for the community too. Um, the community comes in, they kind of consider this store kind of a safe haven, a place where they could come and be safe. And, and we talk to them and we help them out. and. We make things affordable for, for people that might not be able to afford things. Uh, going into a store where they're paying full retail, uh, they're getting good merchandise here, and, and we're very selective as far as what we put out because uh, we want to make sure that our customer experience is a good experience and they get everything at an affordable price. 
uh, something that they're proud to to wear and proud to use and have. And um, it's just like I said, it's just it's just a, a dynamic situation. Um, the store helps out considerably uh, to the center. Uh, we're probably the biggest money generator that the program has. So it's real important. And you know what I would ask is uh, anybody that you know that wants to help us and uh, you know really help the community and, and help us grow more and reach out to more people and, and, and save more people and, and, and just do what we need to do. Uh, we need more donations. Um, you know, the donations we get are so, uh, so appreciated and they're a blessing to us, uh, but we need more, we really do. I mean, it's been real quiet the last couple months. Uh, we're not struggling, but um, you know, our, our, our business is lower than usual. So anything anybody could do for us, I mean, that would be fantastic. Uh, you know, by all means, we pick up donations, we accept delivery donations, anything you can do for us would be greatly appreciated. And uh, just God bless you all, and uh, I hope that anything you guys can do for us, uh, like I said, we appreciate everything you do. So, Well, uh, you've been looking, uh, while he's been talking, you've been looking at some of the, the furniture and the, the things here in the store. Um, and, and I'm going to just go ahead and say it to you. Uh, Mike wouldn't say it, but I will. But please donate to Teen Challenge. Don't go, um, I, I told you this last week. So many people will say to me during the week that you had donated to Goodwill. Listen, Goodwill, when you donate to them, that money leaves the community. It's gone and, and we never see it again. When you buy here mm -hmm. at the Teen Challenge thrift store on Central Drive, 100% of that money stays here in this community. You were talking about yes, uh, uh, the guys at the, uh, the, the center here out on 441. Uh, we, I won't, I won't say we don't turn anybody away, but we try our best not to turn anybody away, regardless of money. It does take money to run it. And um, we have fundraisers during the year. We have the gala and, and things like that. But, uh, and, and a lot of you business people that are watching now donate. Uh, and some of you donate on a monthly basis. And uh, we'll give you that information in a little while. But uh, please, please bring your items here. And, and I'll tell you, my dad, he's about to turn 86 years old. This is where he shops. He, he always looks for his uh, things he needs here. And I know so many of you uh, love coming here. Don't forget about the thrift store when you're out shopping. Uh, but, but that money stays here and we can help some of the guys who cannot afford or their families may not be able to afford yeah. and, and through these sponsorships, through this money here at the thrift store. And, and the way I look at it is uh, maybe you might not have a lot of money, but every time you shop and if 100, 200 people shop, our little bit adds up to be a lot and, and we can help people. Uh, we're going to take a break and I want to come back and talk to you just sure. a little bit more. Sure. Stay with us. Okay. We'll be back right after this. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a Mana dealer. A Mana, last and last and last. Automax, your local repair shop, family owned and operated. Our mechanics are all ASC certified for 100% satisfaction guaranteed. We service all makes and models, foreign and domestic. So come see us at Automax for complete auto repair. We offer certified auto repairs, mufflers, brakes, engine repairs, diagnostics, struts, suspension, and a whole lot more. That's Automax, 707 Kellum Road, Dublin. Call us at 606-6868. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Automax. Hi, this is Meg Greer Evans with Middle Georgia Estate Planning. I wanted to let everybody know that Warren Greer Law is now Middle Georgia Estate Planning. We wanted to let our clients know exactly what specialized services we can offer. We can help you with the preparation of a will or a trust, power of attorney, or health care directive. We also specialize in elder law and can assist you with guardianships and conservatorships, 
as well as the issues facing elderly as they go into long-term care, such as Medicaid planning or VA aid and attendance planning. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, give us a call at 478-272-2885. Welcome back everybody. We are here at Teen Challenge. If you're just joining us, you can go to our YouTube channel, watch this show in its entirety, uh, or we'll be airing it again a little bit later. So, uh, but, but like I said, just go to our YouTube channel at TV35 and you can watch it anytime you would like. Um, we kind of touched on it a moment ago about uh, the guys in the, in the program, mm -hmm. uh, the foundation, the scholarships, that kind of yes. thing. You know, compared to other places in the community, without saying names, mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned that we try our best not to turn people away. What's your Correct. take on that? Uh, yeah, Tea Challenge, uh, everybody understands, is a nonprofit organization, and, and we, we bring in money through donations, uh, through work details that our students do. Uh, to help help them earn their earn their time in the program because like I told you before uh, the program is costly um, it, it it it's expensive to feed and house and educate um, men grown men uh, to help them get back into their you know get their lives back in order and uh, they work and it helps them develop a, a good work structure uh, good ethics, um, and they feel good about it too because they know that they're working to support themselves. Now, you know, a lot of students will come in, come in and tell us, uh, you know, that they've tried to get into other programs and other programs they said that they can't get in because they need to pay money up front uh, and large amounts of money sometimes. And, I, you know, we understand that other programs are, are not nonprofit and, and they, they operate on the money that comes in from their patients or students, you know, have not what, what you want to call them. Um, but we don't, um, you know, Teen Challenge, um, we accept uh, all students. Um, if you want to change your life and you're calling out for help, Teen Challenge is there for you. Um, I mean, we, you know, we do, uh, if, if it's affordable to you, uh, you know, we do have payment plans, small payment plans. Uh, for tuition, but if you have no money at all, um, you can be sponsored. Uh, your your details that you do out there and work and like for me, I, I mean, I I'm a graduate. Um, I did 12 months here at the store as a student. Uh, I paid very minimal amount of money because I didn't have it when I came into the program, uh, and they worked with me and I worked. Uh, to support myself through the program and help the program pay for all my expenses and. Uh, uh, 16 months later, I'm now a staff member here at Teen Challenge, uh, almost two years sober, and, you know, my family relationships have been restored. Amen. Uh, everything has just been wonderful, and, and, I, and I, you know, thank my, thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for that. Uh, and the program, it taught me that. It taught me um, how to put all my faith in God and uh, make my decisions based on what God would want me to do and kind of live in God's will and, and live a cleaner life. And, and uh, it's just been a total blessing. And uh, the program gives every, every man an opportunity, and not just men, like I said, there's women's programs. They have teenager programs out there that, that they're affiliated with Teen Challenge. Um, they give anybody an opportunity with no money in your pocket uh, to get a new start in life. Um, and I can't say that for a lot of other programs, uh, but I can say that for, for Teen Challenge, so. Yeah, and uh, the re-entry program is one of the best things I think about the program. Yes. When, once you graduate, uh, you're allowed to stay an extra six months or maybe a little longer. And just like you being a staff member, we've had some go on. I know uh, I stay in touch with Larry Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, he's up in the Stone Mountain there, Pine Working Mountain area. Working for the teenager, yes, teenage program, uh, yeah. a teenage program. Uh, with the City of Hope Homeless Minister, we've actually sent women over to uh, the Columbus uh, Teen mm -hmm. Challenge. And uh, you mentioned how it started in New York many, many years ago. Uh, and uh, I don't think the guy could even have envisioned. It's all over the world it's, now. It's pretty it, interesting yeah, how it, it all really worked. Is. I mean, he, he, he was a pastor in Pennsylvania and he just, uh, there was an incident that happened in New York and a, and a, young, boy, a young man was killed by a gang uh, and he felt the need to go there and minister and help those kids. And that turned into a huge, that just turned into Teen Challenge. I mean, that yeah. was the, the foundation 
for Teen Challenge. Well, it's going to uh, save you all them years later. You yeah. know, the Word of God says He directs our steps. And the steps He took back then are, are the footprints that y'all are walk, you've walked in, Larry, sure. and, and so many people have walked through. Now, we're going to take a, a commercial break and bring, I'm going to talk to a couple of guys. Okay, Kind of set the stage for that. Who are we going to bring in in a minute? Uh, we'll bring in Jonathan Edmonds. Okay. He's a student. He's a senior student here with us. Okay. Uh, he's been with the program about 10 months. He spent most of his time here as a student at the store. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, know that, I know that the program has changed his life significantly for the better. Good. Uh, and... Um, you know, uh, we have these family days at graduation where families come, and it's just amazing to see some of the guys here that have restored relationships with their families and things that they've they've accomplished. So, yeah, he'll 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 love to kind of give you a little bit of what he has to tell you about uh, his experience here. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. At Dublin Chevy GMC, we have shipments arriving daily. Whether it's Silverados, Yukons, or Tahoes, we have the ride for you. As a matter of fact, I'm doing everything I can to get the trucks ready for you. Whether it's a Blazer or a Terrain or any other crossover, we have the Chevy or GMC for you. And with rates as low as 2.99 on new Silverados, there's never a better time to buy. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevrolet. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More. 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information. Or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. As promised, we told you we were going to bring you Jonathan coming up next, and here he is. And Jonathan, uh, you've heard us. You've been off camera just kind of watching what we were doing. But uh, I want to talk to you about Teen Challenge, about the program. Tell me, first of all, what the program's meant to you. Well, it's meant, it's meant my life to me, really. Like, uh, I've, uh, I've had a complete change spiritually. I've come, you know, close to God. I have a relationship with God now. Uh, my family's been restored. I'm at peace of mind. Like I, I've never, <clears throat> I've never had so much joy, like you know, and comfort that I have now. It's actually been a real true blessing, sir. Did you ever think that you could live without drugs or alcohol? At one point, I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't ever picture it. You know, I just mm -hmm. I overlooked it and didn't even look at it. It was a, really that it was an issue. But uh, since I've gotten the program now, I've actually uh, I've learned a lot about myself, I, I've actually, my attitude has changed completely from the time when I first got here. And I have a different outlook on a lot of things now. And it's been, it's actually, it's been really uh, eye opener and brighter looking future now that I have. Uh, dig a little deeper and share with us your story. How early in life did you uh, dabble in drugs or alcohol? Um, I started out around 12 years old um, to 13. I was uh, taking pills. Uh, and then I, it led into drinking, and then one thing led into another, and then I started doing methamphetamine and pills and drinking all at one time. And um, anyway, I just went downhill from it. I actually had some stomach problems at one point. I had to have surgery, and uh, I've gotten some serious car wrecks. I lost one best friend in 12th grade, mm. and um, we was drinking and stuff, and it was a serious car wreck, and it took his life, and, and then I, that just got me real bad depressed, along with me continuing the drug use, and I dropped out of high school and everything. But now here, at, uh, since I've gotten the program here, I'm actually working on my GED now, Good. and uh, I've uh, I've learned to overcome the pain, you know, where I've had loss like that from my friends in the past and stuff, and uh, God's helped me with that. But, uh, That's got to be tough, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we can't accomplish all things through Christ, there's Amen. no doubt. Uh, so with all those things you just described, where was the the trigger where you finally pulled it and said, this is enough, i got to stop? Well, I was walking up the road one night, and uh, I had uh, these last charges. I had methamphetamine charges, possession charges, and uh, my best friend, uh, had just got shot and she had lost her life. Some guy had shot her. 
and uh, I was just tore apart and everything. I went by our brother's house and uh, I just started, I, I was walking home and I'd been drinking a little bit and I had a probation violation and uh, I was walking down the road and I just started talking to God and I just started asking for help and um, I got on up the road, had alcohol on my breath and a probation violation and I was so concerned about my friend I walked over to the cops and I was asking God to help me and stuff and um, Anyway, I walked over to the cops, and then they realized who I was and everything. They realized alcohol was on my breath, and I was just asking about my friend, like, to concern. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find out if she was really had been murdered and stuff because it was just had come out and everything. But anyway, it ends up that um, I got arrested, and I had a probation violation. Mm -hmm. I went to jail, and I started reading the Bible immediately. You know, and um, I, I kept praying, kept praying. And uh, actually, I got uh, accepted at the Smoky Mountain Teen Challenge, mm -hmm. the one in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And probation didn't want me to go out of state. They liked the, that I, the idea that I was going to Teen Challenge, but uh, they referred me down here to Dublin, and I ended up I got in the program down here, and it's it's just been everything's changed completely. I did a complete 180, and I repented fully, sir. Good. They call it Teen Challenge for a reason, don't they? Uh, it is yeah. a challenge a little bit. <laughs> you do do a lot of work. It's it? not like easy, every, is it? No, I mean it's it's not as hard as hard as you make it, really. Though mm -hmm. you know, I mean if it's something you're wanting. It's really not that hard. Yeah, once you make your mind up. Yeah, yeah, once you get your mind made up, it's, it's not hard at all. Um, I mean, it's a lot of curriculum and like reading and stuff, but it's all out of the Bible, out of the Bible, spiritual based. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I actually, I've gained a lot more knowledge about God and stuff, everything like I was wanting to. Mm -hmm. So, that's all been good. Man, what a, you see, y'all, this is what uh, me and Mike were talking about a while ago. These are, the men, the young men, that their lives were being changed by the very fact that you donate, you shop at the thrift store here on Central Drive. Uh, all this money stays right here in the community. Uh, and if that story don't get to you right there, there's something wrong with you. But they are men, and, and I've served with Teen Challenge for many years, and I can line them up all the way around the block, the men that I've seen their lives change. Do we save everybody? No, you can't save everybody. But if, if the individual's willing to do it and to put in the time like you just heard, um, uh, God can change you, but you, you've got to yield. And you, you, uh, you know, and, and I truly believe until we, me, you, whoever, are, are, are truly broken, only then can God use you. Yes, sir. And that I know you've truth. seen that. Yeah, I've seen it. I've been witnessing on other uh, students and stuff too how God's actually worked through them. I've actually actually gained the blessing of, uh, I was separated from my mother and my brother and sister, 28 years, well, going on 29 years now. And uh, I got in this program and I've been reunited with my sister and I've been speaking with her some. And that's, yeah. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes because I finally, I've actually, I'm, I'm working on restoring that relationship and stuff too, so. Amen. So Amen. God blessed me with that too. Amen. God is good and God is faithful. God is faithful. So, uh, well, I'm proud of you, brother. I appreciate I'm it. I'm proud Thank of you. you. Just listening to that story, uh, uh, I hear many stories like that. The names change, but uh, the stories uh, all begin different ways, but they end the same, and it's through Christ that he, like I said, he strengthens us and, mm -hmm. and gives us that. So uh, thank you, brother, for talking to me today. Thank, thank you, you so sir. much. We're going to take another break, and I'm going to come back, and um, I got another young man that I met, I believe, a couple years ago. He left the program, and now he's come back to the program. We're going to hear that story right after this. Hey, I got bad reception. But the boys did such a great job letting our friends know about the chip shortage and ordering their vehicles. Now I just need the vehicles to come in. I don't want to end up with pie in my face. I want pie in my face. If you like Lost them. Wow, look at all the new vehicles. Ordering works after all. You got pie now. Others call you customers. We call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. 
you've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Welcome back, everybody. Now I have with me Casey Spires. Uh, he's a Dodge County boy. And uh, I mentioned before the break that you had come in the program. And I I've been trying to remember, either I met you at the center or at the, the, the gala Yes, the previous sir. year out at Renez Die, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's where we actually met at. Um, when you get my age, it all kind of runs together. <laughs> You're still a young guy there. so. Uh, but uh, uh, you've kind of heard off camera there what we've been talking about. Um, and I mentioned you left and come back. Share your story with yes, us. Yes, sir. Well, um, at the age of 11 years old, you know, I started drinking alcohol. I, um, struggled with alcohol i'm about to turn 38 this year and i was still struggling with alcohol all the way up until january this year um you know i had a had a pretty good childhood for the most part uh i had a couple incidents that happened at an early age at the age of nine you know i was sexually and physically abused by a family member and i think that's what ultimately you know mm -hmm. sprung me forward into the alcohol use at a, at a young age you know and um like I said, it's just propelled from there and it just took off into other drugs, other things, bad relationships. And um, so, yes, sir, in 2021, I came to Teen Challenge and uh, I knew I needed to go somewhere. I wasn't sure where it was going to be, but while I was in jail, uh, I kept hearing people say, you know, um, Teen Challenge is right there in Dublin. A good friend of mine, Pastor Ron, you know, I grew up with, he mm -hmm. actually yep. helps a lot of people from Eastman and other places get in here. And um, so I was asking around about this place, about Teen Challenge. And it was funny because, you know, most of the people I talked to, they would tell me, you don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't want to go there. That, that place is so hard, you know. And, and it was crazy because that's what really made me want to come even more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I knew I needed something hard. I knew I, I needed something that was going to have a lot of structure around me and that was going to help me in, in every way I needed help. So. <clears throat> Um, I chose to come and I was in the program for nine months. I was doing good and um, but I had never really been around alcohol the whole time I was in the program until we went to a uh, football game and um, that's where my weakness uh, hit me at. I ultimately I relapsed at the football game and um, got drug tested when we got back to the center and uh, Actually, I didn't even get drug tests. I went ahead and before they could even give me the drug test, I, I was honest with them and told them I had been drinking. And it came down to a choice to either leave or to stay and start over. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's uh, like you asked the other guy, mm -hmm. you know, they call it teen challenge for a reason. It, it's hard, but it's very worth it. Um, I chose to stay, but uh, I could only do it for about a month. You know, mentally I was, I had already drained myself out with the relapse and stuff. I was beating myself up. So I decided to leave to go do my little time in jail and stuff, and I went home. And um, I did good for a few months at home, and then a couple of different incidences happened with job-wise and stuff. I was uh, living with my fiance and her daughter. We'd been together seven years. And um, I had started relapsing again, started drinking, started lying about it, hiding it behind her back. And you know, it's true what they say, what's done in the dark will come to the light. Amen. No matter how much I tried to hide it or lie about it, you know, God revealed it. And when he did, it was uh, me causing destruction to the trailer that I was in. And so I got arrested. And it was no question when I got arrested this past January, uh, pretty much a year after that, you know, after Teen Challenge, um, I knew that I had to come back here. You know, I knew it was offered for me to go to another place up in Atlanta. And I said, no, you know, I didn't finish there. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, God is a God of completion. He, he doesn't bring you somewhere by mistake. He doesn't do anything by mistake. So I knew that I had to finish what I started here, yep. you know. And uh, now I'm back and I got a better head on my shoulders. I got, 
you know, I'm closer to God, I'm stronger spiritually, but I've come to learn that those thoughts of alcohol and stuff will come back, you know what I mean? And that's one thing I've learned this time that I didn't believe in last time. I didn't yeah. want to believe it, you know yeah. what I mean? I felt like I could handle it on my own, and uh, I've come to learn that I need God every moment, every step of my day. I want you to, that's your camera over here, but uh, I want you to uh, look at that camera. There's people watching us right now that they're doing drugs right now. Yes, sir. They're sitting there at home, uh, and, and you're sitting there now, you're saying, how in the world that guy know that? Well, out of the tens of thousands of people watching, I know somebody's doing drugs. I'm not a psychic or nothing. I don't even believe in that. But uh, some of you are sitting there drinking, can't, can't get off alcohol. But I want you to talk to that person in your camera there uh, that's sitting there doing the drugs or the alcohol that think they could never in a million years lay it down for good. What would you say to that person? Well, I would, I would start out with, you know, um, I completely understand you know, from um, abusing alcohol for so many years, I understand that, you know, that you've probably been through something, you're probably going through something right now, and you're thinking that alcohol is, is fixing it, but, you know, that's a temporary fix, that's a temporary numbness, that's only going to go to the next day, you know what I mean? And um, what I've come to learn is that the only fix that is uh, permanent is God. You know, I'm a walking, talking testimony and proof that God can change your life, He's changed my life. And you know, it's not too late. If you got air in your lungs and blood in your veins that is running, then you still got a chance to make a change. You know, and um, I, I fully believe in that. Um, it, it's not too late to get your life back on track. It's not too late to, um, to follow God. It's not ever too late. He wakes us up every day for a reason. That's because he's got a purpose for all of yeah. us. And, and I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah, and, 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 uh, and he said something there you're never too old. If you do have breath in your lungs, it's not too late. But we've, we've had men in here that I have gotten to know and love now, 60-year-old uh, men, mm -hmm. uh, 22, 23, 24, 5-year-old men. Uh, but uh, the 60-year-old man has become a dear friend of mine here. Uh, a lot of you know him that come in this store. But uh, uh, he was a graduate of Georgia Tech had many cars and homes and all the things of life, and he lost it all. And, you know, I, I cannot ever forget what he said to me. He said, James, I had all those things. I had all that money in the bank, but I did not know Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, that is saying a mouthful right there. It to, is. To people that um, I, I've, I've ministered recently to a, to a man about the same age. He's got a lot of things. And he believes he did it all on his own. You, you, God gave it to you, and God can take it away from you. That's right. And, yes, and, sir. And I want you to get that today through these stories. We want to be crystal clear about what we're talking about. If, if, if you're, I don't care. Uh, I've got people I grew up with, You're still, and I know you, and, and you know I know this, and I'd never say your name in a million years, but you're still smoking pot, and you're mm -hmm. still partying and drinking. and It's just a way of life. Yep. But... It's no life. Uh, uh, I think I heard Jonathan or one of y'all said, uh, uh, talking about peace, and only true peace and joy comes through God. That's right. Uh, that yes, alcohol sir. is for that day, like you said a while ago. It's for a season. Mm -hmm. And then you got to do it again and again and again yep. and again. You got to do more and more and more. Yep. Because you're still chasing that high the whole time. Yes, sir. Uh, and those of you sitting there now that we talked to a minute ago, uh, Casey was talking to, that you're sitting there now doing drugs um, uh, or alcohol. Alcohol is a drug, mm -hmm. any, uh, any way you definitely. slice it. But uh, I'm telling you, not only am I proud of you, but the, the fact that you you left, uh, and you're probably like I was when I was younger, a lot of people, we know it all. Yeah. You know, we know it all. I ain't hurt nobody. You know, uh, I said it a hundred times. I ain't hurting nobody. I ain't hurting nobody. Well, you are, you are hurting somebody. Oh, yeah. You're hurting yes, yourself. Sir. You're hurting your family. Yes, sir. Uh, you're hurting God. I mean, God loves us. He loves us. Uh, and the fact that you came back, that took, that shows what a man you are <laughs> to be able to come back and man up to the same program. You could have went to Atlanta or North Carolina, wherever, but you came back to the same program, and that had to be even harder. 
and here you are uh, in the middle of this program now. And I know this time, I know you're going to succeed. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I really am. Like I said, I got a better head on my shoulders, a better, you know, my eyes and, and heart have been open, you know, to the truth. You know, um, getting half of the truth, that's, that's not going to help anybody. You know, like it says in the word, you got to be more than just a hearer of the word. You got to be a doer. Mm -hmm. And this time, that's what I am. I'm a doer. You know, I don't just listen. I don't just take it in. I'm actually applying it to my everyday life. And yeah. it, it's a different change. It's, it's way different. Yeah. Team challenge. I'm telling you guys, I have seen many like him uh, through the years. I, I'd literally say hundreds through the years, the last uh, 10, 12, 15 years that I've been affiliated with Teen Challenge. And uh, uh, now I serve on the advisory board and I get to see these people a lot closer up. And that's why the Teen Challenge thrift store, that's why it's so important to me personally. Uh, uh, me and my wife, we just donated a, a pile of stuff. Uh, a lot of it was already sold and that money, that's what's good about it. Sure, you can sell that furniture and make you a little money on it, but you could donate it here. And that money could be taken and put into good use with these men that you see like Casey that's standing here now. So please, please bring your donations. If you say, I ain't got a truck, I can't take them down there. I'm going to bring Mike back in in just a minute. We're going to close the show out and we're going to cover it one more time. But we'll pick it up. We'll mm -hmm. pick it up. They come and pick mine up and uh, mm -hmm. uh, it took about two truck loads, I think, before we ever got it here. But <laughs> y'all, it's so much more satisfaction to know that you gave to Teen Challenge Thrift Store and to know that you're helping men like Casey. So, brother, I'm proud of you, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all yes, stay with us. We're going to come back and wrap it up right after this. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hometown Supply is welcoming in spring with a bigger and better selection of zero turn mowers, blowers, string trimmers, and a complete line of power tools for the yard. Hometown Supply has all of your lawn and garden equipment from zero turn mowers to string trimmers and blowers. We carry all major parts and offer service and repair, so come see us at Hometown Supply. And remember, Hometown Supply has a large selection of new and used appliances. And remember, if you can't do business at Hometown Supply, you just can't do business. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to kind of wrap things up here. Uh, it's been a great show. The guys that... Um, You've been off camera listening to it's uh, been amazing, the yeah. testimonies. Yeah. Uh, I never get enough of it, I'm going to tell you. I could listen to it all day, every day. I love to see when lives are changed. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, I'm hearing stories of people afar. You know, I get to witness it and see it. And I know uh, Pastor Jason Prater, uh, we become dear, dear friends. And... Uh, I've invested even more than I ever have uh, in the program, and it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we mentioned Larry Johnson a while ago on yeah. the air, or, or Justin Adair. Uh, he's out doing God's work. He, his family has been restored his, with, his, with his children and his parents. And uh, it, it, it just, those things are what gets me excited about yeah. Teen Challenge, and more importantly at this moment, the Teen Challenge thrift store where your money can be taken and multiplied. You know, something you mentioned off air um, was about donating automobiles. Mm -hmm. 
And I think it's a great idea because you go to trade in an older car and you ain't gonna get nothing for it. If you junk it, it's two or three hundred dollars. But if you donate it here to Team Challenge, as long as you got a clean title and the car is running good, we can take it and turn it and sell it, and it's a hundred percent profit to the center. Sure. I mean, I had gotten a call from a gentleman who uh, who his brother had passed away, and he has he had a truck, uh, not very many miles on it, ran fantastic. He said, and he said to me, I said to him, "Why do you want to donate it?" And he said. Uh, I want to donate it because I, rather than just me getting $300 scrap, uh, I want to bless somebody with it. I want somebody to have an opportunity to, to drive it and, and, you know, and live life and, and be able to do what they need to do with it. Um, so um, the other thing was, you know, so I mean, it, it's brand new to us, uh, so we really haven't done it. Uh, and it's something that I'd have to discuss with our manager of the store the logistics of something if we were interested in doing it. But what I would tell you is if you're interested in donating a car, give us a call uh, and we can discuss it with you mm -hmm. and see if it's feasible for us to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just, it's just something that would help us maybe expand, yeah. expand our, expand our business even more. And help know? somebody else. Sure. Somebody that couldn't afford a, a, a newer used car, you know, could get one yeah. discounted. The money could go to the center. Uh, but uh, it is new to us, and uh, uh, I'm probably going to get in trouble because Barb's she's right off shot, and if somebody throws something at me in just a minute, it actually came from her. So I'm going to tell you, if it knocks me out, I want you all to know on camera who threw that thing at me. But uh, just bring the vehicle down here and talk talk to the woman that runs the place and say, look, I want to donate it to you. Have your title in your hand and the keys. You got a better chance of talking her into it if you do that. So uh, I went out on a limb there and it's kind of being sawed off on me right now. I but think, uh, yeah, I think that would she, be, <laughs> you know, she does, she, uh, she's, she's a little, little shy about coming on the camera, but uh, I, I got to give a shout out to our manager, uh, Miss Barbara Pruce. Uh, uh, her husband actually is a pastor of the center in yeah. Dublin and does amazing things and, yes, yeah. and she does amazing things and I'll be honest with you um he definitely married up buddy. yeah I tell <laughs> he him did. that he married he way out of his league he did and he so did, did I yeah. so I, I, I that's why I can say that I yes. recognize it when I see it uh but yeah I mean she's done an amazing job here at the store and uh you know just the the standards that we that we keep here at the store uh the type of merchandise that we sell uh you know that's what you had mentioned uh um, that other program a little while ago, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I've walked into their, their, their place before too. And, um, talking about know, goodwill, you goodwill, don't want to say it, you don't want to say it I, but I don't mind saying it's goodwill. I, I just don't donate there. Donate to team I think challenge. The standards, <laughs> I think the standards here, uh, I don't want to say are, are I, our standards are good standards. They're much higher. Uh, and yeah, and we, we try to sell quality. Uh, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, we don't sell merchandise unless we know it works. Uh, our clothes are, are very, uh, we, you know, we, we have a process that we follow. We make sure that our clothes are, are immaculate uh, and everything is, is, is up to par and, and is something that you, like I said, you could buy at a Kohl's or at a Macy's or yeah. a, at Go a major department it. store, but you're getting yeah. it for, you're getting it for uh, such a lower cost and, here. And some of the clothes donated still have the tags on them. Yes, they do. From where they were purchased. They absolutely do. You'd be amazed how many yeah. donors donate brand new clothes to us. They, they donate brand new merchandise. Yeah. I've had brand new TVs come in here, brand new pots and pans. I and, saw a suit of clothes um, over here a while ago. The person was still in them. That's how fresh they were. So we were trying to get them off the first. Yeah, we had three so. dressing rooms. It wasn't easy for us to, to, to handle that, but yeah. Yeah, we, we were able to we do it. We can handle yeah. it all, though. Yeah, yeah we were. There's no yeah. hill for a climber. No, no, sir. Yeah, there so. is not. So, yeah. Okay, uh, before we go, we're at Teen Challenge Thrift Store on Central Drive in East Dublin. I want you all to know, you may not know this, but Central Drive in East Dublin is the highest traffic count in all of Lawrence County. There's wow. no road. You may say, well, Hillcrest Parkway sure is busy. There's no road, no street, no highway in Lawrence County that has a traffic count as Central Drive. So why, the reason I say that is probably you're coming by here anyway. So if you call ahead and say, I'm coming by, I'm in a hurry, we'll meet you out at the curb, throw them our way, we'll catch them. And don't go to that extreme, but we're here to serve pick up delivery uh you you want to buy uh some of these furniture uh, items that you've been seeing while we talk yep. we'll load them up take them to you whatever we got to do we aim to please 
uh, and that's what we're going to do. So before we go, though, yep. what's the hours in the, in the uh, uh, store about? hours? Store hours are uh, Monday, Tuesday. We are open from nine to five thirty. Wednesday we're open from nine to five. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, we are open from nine to five thirty. Uh, Sundays we are off. Um, actually, Sunday is a very important day for the program. Uh, as you know, a lot of the students work here and. Uh, help us out immensely and uh, Sunday's a day of rest. Sunday's a day where we, we focus on church and it's more of a spiritual day than a work day for us, yeah. so yeah. And if you want to go to a service, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, I've been to many graduations, but if you've never seen the Holy Spirit move, you come to some of these services at Teen Challenge at the chapel out there, and, and I've told many people this, you know, I. Uh, I preach at a lot of churches, fill mm -hmm. the pulpits, but I've said it many times that uh, I've seen the Holy Spirit move a lot of times, but not during the song service. It's amazing to me while the song service is going on, the families and the men that just go to the altar and just cry out to God to, mm -hmm. to help them through this journey and to, to put their families back together. Um, it, it's just amazing to me to see um, how God works through this program. Yeah. You know, it's really one powerful. thing it's one thing to know God, but it's another when He reveals Himself sure. to you. It, it's just uh, there, there's no more of a mighty move than that. So, uh, with all that said, if you're just joining us, if you just turned the channel, we're at Teen Challenge Thrift Store on Central Drive. Go to our YouTube channel, TV35. Just type it in on YouTube. You'll go right to it. We're right there. Uh, you can go on there and see as much of us or as little of mm -hmm. us that you want to look at. Uh, by the way, I was looking this morning. In the last 90 days, we've had 1.1 million people visit wow. our YouTube channel. Wow, so that's amazing. I hate, I hate to put that kind of stress on you. It's a powerful that, tool for that us, many yeah. people. Uh, I just wanted people to know also <laughs> that, you know, with the donations, we, we will come, like you said, we will come out and pick them up or they can drop them off. We will do all the work. Uh, yeah. You know, we will, we, will, we will load our truck, we will unload, we will load their, unload their vehicles. Uh, and when they purchase things here, uh, we do provide uh, a service where we will actually load everything for them and uh, mm -hmm. you know we try to we try to do as much as we can because uh, we appreciate their donations and yep. all their purchases so yep I can't say it any better I'm gonna just stop right there there's nothing more I can add to this thank okay. you brother <laughs> thank you very thank much you sir. so much thank you for time and thank you so much for joining us today right here on TV 35Throughout the years, the Stanley family has served our community in times of need. The Stanley family has always been committed to providing personalized, professional, and compassionate services to help lighten the burdensome times in our lives. We've always been able to count on the Stanley family for support throughout the difficult times that follow the loss of a loved one. Through planning and or pre-planning considerations, arrangements are always as unique as our individual loved ones. Stanley Funeral Home and Crematory, 1320 North Jefferson, Dublin. Or log on to stanleyfuneralhome.com. And remember, you can always count on the Stanley family. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Hello, my name is Steve Hardin and I'm the lead pastor of the Dublin Church of God. I want to give you a special invitation to come and visit us here in the house. On Sundays it's at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. And Wednesday nights, it's at 7 p.m. Our church is located in 1059 Plaxton Dairy Road in Dublin, Georgia. We are a church that ministers to the whole family to give them hope, to counsel, to love, and a place to grow. We invite you to join us on our spiritual journey. We're looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearance of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ.